Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys hopefully a quick resolution to resolving if you're getting an error when your computer is restarting after installing updates. This says failure to configure Windows updates and it's reverting your changes do not turn off your computer. So this tutorial should be fairly straightforward for you guys and without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu and you want to type in services best match or one of the best matches on our programs it should say services here you want to left click on that to open it up and now in the services window you can expand the view by clicking the little corner here make it a little bit wider so we can see where we're going and I'm gonna to go to where it says background intelligence transfer service here I'm gonna right click on it and then I'm gonna left click on stop this is just going to stop the background intelligence service which is related to the Windows Update service that we're going down to right here. You want to right click on Windows Update as well. Click on Stop. Keep in mind we're not actually like disabling it. We're just turning it off until our computer restarts and then it will revert back to whatever the startup type listed over here is. So if it's set to automatic, it's going to be running when your computer restarts. It's basically what I'm saying. And I'm just going to close out of there and we're going to open up the store menu. Type in folder options. Select folder options from the control panel list here. So folder options like it does on my screen. Go underneath the view tab. So left click on that. And then where it says hidden files and folders, you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. Click on apply and OK. Now we're going to go back to store menu and you want to type in computer. So a computer from the list, pretty self-explanatory. Underneath hard disk drives, you want to select the local disk where Windows is installed on. It should say local disk and there should be a little icon of Windows right above the hard disk. Your drive letter might be different in my case and most people it should be the C drive. But again, it really it's not set in stone that's going to be the C drive, but it should say local disk and there should be a little Windows icon above it. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to double click on the Windows folder. Now we're going to go down to software distribution, so double click on that. And now everything listed in here, we're going to be clearing the Windows Update Cache. So this is just backup stored copies of Windows Updates by deleting all of these, which I'm doing right here. We're not actually deleting any updates that are installed on our computer. So just right click after highlighting all of them, select yes to delete them. Like I said, we're just clearing the Windows Update cache here, so it shouldn't take too long, but again, it could be quite a bit depending on how many updates you were trying to download before. So once it's all cleared out, I'm going to close out of here. I would recommend restarting your computer at this point, and then attempt to run the updates again and see if that has resolved the issue. If that has not resolved the issue, we're going to open up a web browser. It really doesn't matter which web browser, but we're going to navigate over to this Microsoft domain link I'm going to have in the description. And it should say Windows Update Troubleshooter. You want to select the one for your respective version of Windows. Because this is a Windows 7 machine, I'm going to select Download Troubleshooter for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Just left clicking on that link one time. I'm going to select Open to run the file. You can close out your web browser as well at this time. Should say Windows Update, troubleshooting help prevent computer problems. Select Next. This will take a bit of time here, so just be patient.
So it should say troubleshooting has completed. Click on close here. I would recommend that you also restart your computer again and hopefully that has resolved your issue at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.